Frontier Land. Next land, one of my favorite lands. Not much has changed here. Basic, really. All there really is is that this shooting gallery thing got its little overhang here. Now all that little fun stuff you can shoot. But now this, this is the the big attraction, the huge, literally the huge attraction. Mine train through nature's wonderland. This thing took me about eh, a couple weeks to map out and build. Essentially, over here you got the little mining town of Rainbow Ridge, and over in this building you have the Rainbow Caverns. And keeping the uh, mule thing, horse drawn carriage thing going on, you can see the little horse down there. But anyway, and over here, over here, now this might change just before I release this. This tunnel right here is still at Disneyland and it is still visible today. So is a little bit of this water here because as most of you know, right in this area is Big Thunder Mountain. So yeah, that's, that's what it is there. And you got the desert over there. Don't want to give away too much. As you know, download the map, go explore. Mark Twain, a little uh, refurb there. And over here we have the this little eatery section area. Got his new balcony and stuff like that. I ate right there. Yeah, I ate right here. And it was it was a uh, it was cool. Now before we continue over there, that's fr that's Frontierland. Now we're gonna jump over here to the entrance to. Adventureland, which should look familiar because now this is the way it looks today. And we go, before we actually enter, we look to our left and we have the very first audio animatronic show in the world, Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Yeah. And Adventureland got its uh, expansion over here that would soon connect to Tarzan Street House and Pirates and New Orleans Square and all that so that's that and the Jungle Cruise got a little bit of an expansion basically turned into the Jungle Cruise of today you got the flipped over car on the tent you have the uh, elephant pool you got the safari thing over there the rhino sticking its uh, horn at people the hippo pool and all that fun stuff and over here, we have the new Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. I was really pleased with how this thing turned out. It's really cool. And yeah, it's your treehouse. But now we go over here. And now this, this is where things get a little bit confusing. Everything beyond this line all the way from there and all the way to here. Everything from this line is from 1960. It is mainly for historical purpose purposes because in 1965 all of this was basically demolished and is now currently the construction area for Pirates of the Caribbean and New Orleans Square area. But here's the thing, I do not want to build a construction site area for something that I'm going to eventually be building in the future. So why would I build, pretend, build something, or build something to pretend that something is being built? Like, why would I do that? So instead I did this. And over here, you notice that that is the gazebo that was over there by the Carnation uh, Gardens. They moved, they moved it over here so that they could uh, have more room and space for bands to play and people to dance. I just put the chicken plantation here mainly to fill up space because this was just wide open space right here. But yeah that's that and we'll get to that in a little bit. But anyway over here we have Rivers of America, we have the dock, everything here is now the way it is today. And over here we have Tom Sawyer's Island back when it was actually Tom Sawyer related. Here we have Tom and Huck's treehouse and we have oh we have Injun Joe's cave 
and we have this ca rock castle type thing. And over here we have Fort Wilderness. Where's the gates? The gates are open! Oh my god, the gates are open! You can actually go inside! For those of you who don't know, this fort has been closed mainly for uh, uh, safety concerns that started to arose. I think it would involve termites. But anyway, those doors have been closed and is now used for uh, cast members for the uh, Phantasmic show up here. And anyway, over here, now we have the Columbia is now a part of the Disneyland Navy crew. Yay! Columbia, it's in port. Because I didn't really know where to put it on the river. And over here, we have my favorite attraction. The Haunted Mansion. Seriously, I love the hell out of this ride. Now, last time I went to Disneyland, I just completely... Nope, 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 nope. That we're taking a left here. Nope, 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 nope. Run, run, go, 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 go. Here, boom, there. We basically just passed by everything else. Didn't even second glance on anything. We just went right here. Right here. Fortunately, it was closed, or it wasn't closed, but it had maintenance stuff. It was broken down, but then shortly, road, back up again. I My talking is weird, but here's the thing. In 1965, it was not open yet. As you can clearly see, the, the uh, building behind it is not there yet. Because, if most, some of you don't know, Walt Disney died in 1966. That was one year after this era takes place. So really, if you think about it, this is the, this is what Disneyland looked like before Walt died. Uh, yeah. And anyway, there is no ride inside. There's nothing inside. It's basically just sitting, it basically just sits here, and it doesn't open until 1969. We have the pet cemetery over there. And over here, we go under the tunnel to the Indian village. Now, some people might consider this racist today, but there was an Indian village. Here are the canoes. You can ride around the... Uh, Rivers of America, and over here we have an Indian Circle where lo local California Anaheim clubs, Native American clubs, would come down here and use this circle for their uh, for their traditions because of the uh, traditional uh, environment around here. Being in California, that's something that you rarely see today. So I, I look at it as paying homage to the Native Americans and stuff like that, but I... I don't like getting on subjects like that. So that's there. But now that is pretty much all I want to show you here now. But now we go over to one of the biggest get off of my face you crosshairs. The biggest thing that is here that was not here in 1965 but was here in 1960. So this is a part of this this line here and that is the land in Disneyland the only land in Disneyland that ever failed holiday land some of you might be saying oh what the hell is holiday land well holiday land was a little land just outside of the park the entrance is right over there and basically what it was it was your like local park Basically, your picnic rally, uh, some another name for it. Just a bunch of tables. Families would come here, have a picnic. There's a base. There's a frick. There was a friggin' baseball diamond right there. And you have a tent for some local bands and stuff like that. But yeah, because this is 65, this thing was taken down in 1960. I have the dates over here. 1961, this thing was destroyed, demolished, for room for the Haunted Mansion and Pirates of the Caribbean. So this little area is kind of shrunken down because of the train. So back then the train did not like expand this way like that side does too. This remained straight, like 1955 straight. So 
it was a little tight fitting in that baseball diamond. Well, anyway, guys, that is it. That is Disneyland 1965. If you guys enjoyed the these uh, this video, leave a like and subscribe for more future content. And if you have not seen part one to this video, click on the annotation on the upper corner of the screen, and that'll take you right to that video. Chunks refuse to load. But anyway, but now this isn't going to be the last video involving this map. And that is because I took a screenshot. And that is because I am using a custom texture pack that I made. Uh, if you really want to call it that. And anyway, there is a texture pack that goes along with this uh, world. It's, and the uh, cool thing is it that it should be compatible with all of my Disneyland uh, versions. So more information, I'll be making a separate video on that. Click the second annotation on the screen now, and that'll take you there. And anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy. Download will download link will be in the description. Follow me on Twitter for more Minecraft updates and video updates and all that Twitter stuff. I my name is uh at ngm entertainment. Go uh, follow me on there, or click the descriptions or the links in the descriptions below. Because I also have a Facebook and a Google Plus and Twitter and all that good social media stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave you here. I hope you all have fun here at the older, older, not oldest, but older Disneyland. And as always, I hope you have a magical day, and I will see you in the next one.